In this video, I want to talk about how you can make some big profits from the Bet365 4 to 1 offer when you match betting. So hey there, thanks very much for clicking onto my video. My name's Liam, and if you're brand new to my channel, if you've just stumbled across me somehow, uh, my channel's all about teaching people how to make money online from match betting. Now, match betting isn't actually gambling, regardless of the name, which obviously contains that word betting. Um, if you do want to learn more about how it works, I'll leave a link for you to do so in the description of this video. I'll take you up to my website. Where I've got a 15 minute crash course you can watch, which will walk through the step by step basic uh, skills you need to learn match betting. It's super easy and you can learn it in about 15 minutes. So if you do want to learn how it works and you do want to learn more, do hit the link in the description and jump over to my website. But anyway, the Bet365 4 to 1 offer is a really, really good offer, and a lot of people, when they first start match betting, don't actually take full advantage of it. Now, the offer works by backing a horse with a bookmaker, Bet365 and lay that same horse on the bet next change for a very, very small qualifying loss. Now, the horse with a bookmaker has to have odds of at least 5.0 or above, which is 4 to 1 in fractions. Now, if the horse that you've backed with a bookmaker actually goes on to win the race, which has odds of at least 5.0, so a minimum odds of 5.0, if that horse goes on to win the race, what Bet365 do is they credit you with a risk-free bet, a refund on the next ITV race. And you can use that risk-free bet and you can use that refund to lock in about 35 or 40 quid on the next race. So it's a lot of opportunity with this offer. And a lot of people don't actually take full advantage of it when they first start match betting. Uh, and this offer works really well at big racing festivals. Uh, and as I'm recording this, Royal Ascot is just round the corner. So you can use this. You can watch this video now. You can use this knowledge that I'm going to give you and apply it to the, the different races at Ascot and lock in some big profits. Uh, so the maximum refund that Bet365 offer out is £50. Now, you don't have to stake £50. If you have a smaller bankroll and you can't afford to be tying up so much liability on the exchange, you can bring your stakes down, your qualifying stakes down uh, to as low as like £5 or a pound or whatever. And the offer is still applicable, but the, yeah, the refund is just smaller. And the refund is just matched to the stakes that you're using um, with your qualifying bet. Uh, so what I'm going to do to explain this in a little bit more detail, super simple detail, is I'm going to jump over my computer screen and explain how this all works and how you can get started using this Bet365 offer. So let's jump over the computer screen and let's get started. Okay, so to do the 4 to 1 offer uh, with Bet365, what you want to do is you want to load up OddsMonkey and you want to load up the dashboard, which is essentially it's the home page of OddsMonkey. Once you've done that, you just want to click here on the tile where it says Racing Matcher. So if you click on that, that'll load up the Racing Matcher. Now, if you want to sign up for OddsMonkey for a free trial, I do have my link down below this video in the description of this video. So feel completely free to use that. Give it a try and if it's for you, you can upgrade to a premium account and you'll get all these features, including the racing matcher, the extra place matcher, the full access to the odds matcher and all those kind of things. So it's a great piece of software and it's a great company, Odds Monkey. I'm very proud to promote it. And if you do want to give it a try, I've got my affiliate link down below in the description of this video. But anyway, once you've loaded up the racing matcher, um, it will already load up the Bet365 offer by default. So you can see here where it's the, this black bar is here, it says Bet365. £50 risk-free bet if you back an ITV winner at 4 to 1 or more. So by default, it already loads this offer into the racing matcher. But what you can do is you can edit your, your filter and your preferences to look for stuff that you're looking for. So what you do is you just come up here to the top left-hand corner, click on offers. Now for now, we're just going to leave this top one as it is. So all offer types selected, we're going to leave that as it is as well. And then this one here where it says offers, if you click on the drop-down, this will list all the recurring horse racing offers that are out there each and every week so you can see there's absolutely loads of them at the bottom here you can see 10 pound refund if second and then this one 20 pound free bet if your horse wins at three to one or more which is 4.0 in decimals one here 20 pound free bet if you back a winner and there's loads and loads of these and a lot of them can be used in conjunction when you're doing your extra places as well so you know bear that in mind there are quite a lot of horse racing offers which have quite a decent bit of value attached to them and you can do them a lot of them when you're doing your extra places so there's more value there if you choose to use it but what we're going to do for this video is we're just going to select the bet 365 4 to 1 offer which is this one here where it's highlighted in blue so a risk-free bet if you back an ITV winner at 4 to 1 or more with Bet365. So you click on that, and what that does, that lists all the uh, applicable horse races for that offer. So obviously, it's only the ITV races which have that offer available uh, with them. So you can see here, 
Goodwood 1340, Haydock 1355, Goodwood 1410, Haydock 1425, and you get the picture. But that's just breaking it down for you super easy, and it's just uh, filtering it so it's only showing the, the races that are applicable for the offer. Now what you can do if you want to look for every single opportunity in each race that the uh, offer is applicable for, you can just have this set to check all and it'll scrape every uh, horse race, every market on the exchange and look for the best matches for you. But if you're only looking for a specific match on one horse race, you can just deselect all by clicking that check all box and then selecting which races that you want the racing matcher uh, to look for, to scrape on the exchange and the bookmakers sites and look for the best matches for you. So you can select individually, or if you're just happy to browse the, the entire uh, selection, you can just click here where it says check all. Uh, moving along to the minimum odds and maximum odds, you want to make sure you leave the minimum odds at 5.0. You do not want to be changing that to be any lower or any higher, to be honest with you. The minimum criteria is 4 to 1 or 5.0, so you can't back a horse at lower odds than that or, or you won't be applicable for the offer. So make sure you leave the minimum odds at 5.0 and the maximum odds, you know, there's no real point in changing that. And when you get to the exchanges, you just want to select uh, which betting exchange you want to be doing this offer with. So maybe you just want to be doing it with Smirkits or maybe you want to be doing it with Betfair, maybe Betfair and Smirkits. Whichever exchanges you have and whichever exchanges you're willing to use for this offer. A lot of people will do it with Smarkets because of the 0% commission with Odds Monkey. Um, so again, you can just deselect all, choose the exchanges you want, mine Smarkets and Betfair. Uh, and then the minimum rating and this auto hide you can just leave as it is. And once you've specified all the criteria that you're looking for, just click here where it says apply, refresh this blue button. And what that does, that filters the racing matcher based on all that criteria that you've just specified in that offers tab there. And you can see this is it's set up really nicely. It's super easy to look at and see what's going on this. And you can see on the left-hand side here, it tells you the, the race, the meeting, and the time. So you can see this one's Haydock 1535, the horse name, the lure jet, uh, bookmaker it's with, so obviously Bet365, this one, the back odds with that bookmaker, the exchange that it's going to be with, which is Betfair, the lay odds with that exchange in pink, uh, the amount of liquidity that's available on that exchange, which is £381. Uh, the lay stake that you're using, so £50, as long as the lay stake is smaller than the available amount of liquidity, you're good to place the bet. The rating, a lot of you will be familiar with that from the odds match and extra place match and stuff like that. 100% rating would entail a £0.0p zero qualifying loss, and obviously the qualifying loss on the, uh, the right-hand side is 8p. So if that was a 100% rating, uh, the qualifying loss would be... 0 pounds 0 p if it's over 100 percent rating you get a small profit so it wouldn't be a qualifying loss it'd be a qualifying win um and obviously the the lower you get the the, the bigger the qualifying loss so the idea is you're looking for matches at the top of the racing matcher which have the smallest qualifying loss and the highest rating so this one looks pretty good the lure jet uh you can see 99.84 percent rating qualifying loss 8p so what you would do is you would click on this calculator symbol here and what that does that opens out a calculator um to make it even simpler for you. So it makes it really, really simple. But you can see it gives you a little breakdown in this uh, your results of what you need to do. So it gives you step one, go to bet365 and bet 50 pounds at odds of 6.5. And then it says here, step two, after you've done step one, go to bet for and lay 50 pound 94 at odds of 6.4. And then it gives you your exchange liability. So the amount of money you need to tie up on the exchange to place your lay bet. And at the bottom, just like the basic calculator and the odds match and stuff like that, it gives you a breakdown of what's going to happen to your profit. So you can see either way, if the back bet wins, we lose 8p, as specified there. And if the lay bet wins, we also lose 8p. But of course, what we're looking for is the horse to win the race. So if the horse wins at odds of 5.0 or above, that's where we, um, uh, we, we get the risk-free bet on the next ITV race. So what you want to do, once you're happy and you've found a, a race that you, you're looking for, uh, you just want to click here on the Bet365 logo or this little blue icon next to it. Click that and that'll link you directly over to the bookmaker's website, which is Bet365. And it will pop that horse, that selection into your bet slip ready to go. So as you can see, it's selected 6.5 for us. It's put this into our bet slip. And all that we need to do now is specify our stake, which is 50 quid. Uh, and then we can just hit the place the bet button which is there. Now I'm not currently logged in, so I'm not going to place the bet, but that's what you would do to place the bet with a bookmaker. Nice and fast, nice and easy. And then what you would do is you'd jump back to the racing matcher and then you'd simply 
just click here where it says lay the bet. Now, I've not currently got my bet for account linked to my betting exchange, but if you did have your bet for account linked, it would just say here lay the bet and you can just click lay the bet and confirm and lay the bet. Now, if you don't have your account linked, which I don't, you can just click the hyperlink and then you can find the runner, which is the Lurjet. Click on the lay odds, 6.4. Enter in your lay stake, which is specified there, £50.94. Double check the liability, £275. And then the liability is here. Your exchange liability, £275. So you know that everything matches up and you can just place the lay bet in manually, doing it that way. It's a little bit slow, a little bit time consuming. So I would recommend setting up and linking up your bet and exchange um, to odds monkey. I've got Smirkits linked up, but I don't really use Betfur a great deal for stuff like this. It's generally just play herbs I use Betfur for, so it's not really necessary for me to link up my Betfur account. But you know, if you are using Betfur and definitely if you're using Smirkits, I would recommend linking up because you can bypass having to put all the stake in and check the uh, the liability and stuff. Click the lay, lay the bet button, confirm the lay the bet, and then the lay bet is placed. And that's the hard work done, that's the uh, the bulk of the work done. Obviously you're taking really small qualifying losses and you're just hoping that a horse of odds of 5.0 or above goes on to win the race. And if it does, what Bet365 do is they credit you with a risk-free bet on the next race equivalent to the stake that you used uh, on, on the horse that won, which had odds of 5.0 or above. So let's say here that this Lurjet wins the race. Uh, I obviously stake £50 here. What Bet365 do on the next ITV race, what's coming up, they credit you with a £50 risk-free bet. Uh, so to work out which the next ITV race is, you can either just go to the Bet365 website, uh, click on offers, click on horse racing, click on the 4 to 1 offer and it just literally lists all the races there. So whichever race that you've done it on, so which one was this one? This was the 15.35, so you can see you just find that 3.35, so it would be the next race, the 3.50, that's where the risk free bet is applicable. It has to be that race, it can't be the, the race after that or you know, the next race, the following day, it has to be the next race from which you place your bet. So we placed our bet, uh, which was this one, 15.35, so 3.35 on this one, so it would have to be the, the 3.50 at York in this example. Or you can also look in the Offers tab as well, and then it lists them uh, just, just like that. If you did the 1535, which I did, the next one would be 1550. Um, so basically, what you want to do once they've credited you with the risk-free bet, and they won't send you an email or anything like that, they won't drop anything in your inbox, this is on you to do this. And also, there won't be like a free bet added to your account or anything like that, because it isn't a free bet. It's a refund offer. It's a risk-free bet, essentially. You've got to manually check that the horse that you've backed, which had odds of 5.0, has won the race. So what you want to do, once you've done that, is you want to load up the odds matcher. So come up here to Tools, click on Odds Matcher. And then what you want to do is you just want to click on the Filter tab at the top, uh, the top of the Odds Matcher here. And then in this Search Text box here at the bottom, you just want to type in the next uh, ITV race. So in this example, obviously, we backed uh, 335 at Haydock. So the next one would be the 350, where I'm highlighting there. So you would just uh, type in 1550. It's in a 24-hour clock format, uh, odds monkey. Then click on Limit Sports. Click Horse Racing. Uh, limit Markets. Winner of Horse Races. Limit Bookmakers. Make sure you just select Bet365 on its own. And just select the exchanges you want him to, to look through. I'm just going to say smirk it. And uh, the minimum back odds in this column here, I would just say uh, 4.0. I'll put for minimum back odds. Once you've done that, just click on the blue apply filter button. Get rid of the filter tab. And this will bring up the best matches for the next ITV race where you've got your risk-free bet on. Now, obviously, there isn't much to go off here because we're quite a way out from the, uh, the start of this event. But when you're doing this, obviously, there's about a half an hour gap between each ITV race. And you'll be able to have more choice about which one you want to go for and stuff like that. But we're a little bit limited because we're so many hours away from the actual start of the race. Uh, but what you want to do is you just want to choose the best match, which in my case is the top one. Click on the blue eye icon. And then you want to change your bet type on the odds matcher. And you want to change it to this risk-free bet option on the, the right-hand side. So click that. Change the Bet365 stake to whatever stake you used for the previous race, 
which the horse at odds of 5.0 or above won that race. So I used 50 pounds, click enter on the keyboard. Once you've done that, you want to come down to this free bet award box here and you want to put in that st same stake amount. So if it was 50 pounds, you would put 50 pounds in there. You know, if it's 25 pounds, you put 25 pounds in, in this box here. I use 50, so I'm going to use 50. And then underneath that where it says free bet retention, that is 100% because it isn't actually a free bet. It's a refund offer and they will refund you the full amount if the horse that you're backing right now doesn't win the race. So that needs to be changed to 100%. Click enter on the keyboard again and you can see the calculator shows you your overall profit. So the overall profit in this example is £30.48. So again, what you would do is you would click here where it says go to bet365. And then that will throw in the odds into your bet slip. So odds of 12 on mulls in. You just enter your stakes of £50. Remember, nothing will be credited to your balance. This is your own money, which they will refund you if you're wrong and the bet doesn't win. So you would just place the bet on bet365. And then you would jump back to the odds matcher. And if you've got your... Uh, bet and exchange is integrated, which I have with Smart Kits. You would just click on here where it says lay the bet and then click yes. Lay the bet and that will place the lay bet into the market. And that is essentially it. So we look at the breakdown. If the bookmaker's bat bet wins, uh, we'd, we'd have a profit of £550 uh, on the bookmaker's side of things because our bat bet's won, but we'd lose £519.52 on the exchange because our liability will be lost because our lay bet will have lost on the exchange and obviously that equals a profit of £30.48 and obviously that exchange liability is massive because these odds are so so high because there wasn't much to go off but when you're 30 minutes out from a race there'll be loads of options and loads of better odds like around 4.0 and stuff which will have a much smaller liability but anyway on the alternative side of things if the exchange lay bet wins we'd lose our £50 stake up with a bookmaker but we'd win £30.56 from the lay stake on the exchange and then because of the uh, the offer the bookmaker would then refund the stake which we used which was £50 in my case and you can see that would equal a profit in this example of £30.56 so that's how it works that's how refund offers work that's how the 4 to 1 offer works and this is a really good offer which you can run alongside your extra places by combining the liability and stuff like that but this offer especially at big festivals obviously Royal Ascot's coming up you can smash in few different horses each and every race and get loads of these risk-free bets all the time and each time you do it you're going to be locking in like 30 35 quid and it quickly mounts up that but yeah that's how the 4 to 1 offer works it's really simple uh, just use the racing match it'll save you so much time and so much energy and just go through that way as we just did in this video so yeah that pretty much wraps it up thank you very much for watching if you want to try odds monkey for free again i've got that link down below in the description of this video feel free to check it out and if you want mine, please do drop a like on this video. It helps me out massively. And if you want to receive more content like this and more ways of making money from match betting as easy and as painlessly as possible, please do hit the subscribe button and YouTube will send you my videos as soon as they're released. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you soon in the next video.